Okay, continuing on, uh, we have our blank that we made in the last video. Nicely knurled. We have this little tip that's uh, going to be the underside, the part that the uh, shaft goes up into, and then this will be the top side. So what we're going to do first is face that down and give it a nice little chamfer around the edge, um, and that should be it. Maybe a little bit of polishing. A little bit of brass shim stock. This is kind of a nine-hand operation. We'll get the jaws close. I'm just going to take a small tool and bend back what little brass isn't already. There we go. Now we have some clearance on the part. Since we don't need to take a very big cut, it's okay. We don't have very much stick out. One more pass from this angle. Very light cut. We'll run the lathe in reverse and just do it on the back side. That leaves us a super nice little champ for that. That is very nice looking. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, with the part mounted, uh, flip, basically just flipped around in the chuck, we'll go ahead and get it faced off and probably do a quick chamfer and then we'll do a center drill and then we'll cut the relief and then drill the bore, which may seem like a, a funny order of operations, but it makes sense in my head. That's all that matters. There we go. Sometimes those little nubbins can be a bear to cut. They don't hit, like to hit the tool just right. At least in my experience. My little experience. That's better. Okay, got the tool backed out of the way, and now we're going to bring up the tailstock with the chuck mounted. for about a half inch on this half inch minimum yeah we're there
Okay, I have a very uh, kind of faint line just marked on the edge of my drill bit. That's my 0 .280 inches. It's a 5.6, uh, or I'm sorry, 1564 drill bit. And that is cutting just swell. Doing about 600 RPMs. that's it. Alright, so all of the machine operations on the lathe are done. There's the first one, and then I went ahead and made the second one, or finished up the second one, I should say. That, that is cool. A little wobbly, I need to tighten those, uh, tighten those pots up a little bit, you can hear them. Squeaking and creaking and squealing, they are old, used, and abused. So we'll fix that up. The only last thing to do now is to uh, put a coat of finish on them because aluminum, uh, if it's left or right like this, it gets kind of a frosty, faded, gross, dull look. Uh, not great. And the other thing is that, well, we want it to match our uh, fantastically stylish base here. So I think what I'm going to do is just hit them with uh, a little bit of just plain old spray paint. Uh, I thought about a couple different other finish options, but I you know, I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. So I'm going to go hit these with spray paint, uh, and we'll just see how they come out. Okay, and after a rattle can session, there we are. Uh, spray paint being what it is, not a super perfect finish. I think mine's kind of old, but it'll do. It'll do nicely. I'm really happy the way these came out. They look very nice, uh, and they fit brilliantly. Uh, to get them a little bit tighter on there, there's a little bit of slippage on this guy. I may uh, uh, may go ahead and just super glue those in, maybe a little Loctite or something. Um, just because I believe these are designed for plastic or something like that. So they can actually, there's ridges on there that, that bite, into, bite into the knob. So, there we go. Successful project. Done.